the Academy gave us, um, I think, that push forward that we needed. So lean is important for our organization. Um, the Academy really um, gave us a way of pulling the different people from the team into the same room. We talk the same language. We talk A3 thinking. Um, and it kind of gives us that, that uh, foundational piece that we needed. At the Academy, uh, we were exposed to a number of different lean tools. Those tools are, are absolutely essential for dealing with, with the cha upcoming changes in healthcare. Uh, I think we're particularly guilty in healthcare of not understanding our circumstances um, and, and what our current state is. And unless we understand our current state, we're not able to move on to the next level. From a patient care standpoint, it's absolutely essential we do this. Patient satisfaction has always been really important for, for the hospital. And this project was really in line with that. It was how do we make sure that we're able to get patients home um, in time. You know, so we've, we've been able to reduce that, um, their length of stay by a day. Uh, so patients are able to go home a day earlier. I think that's it's a benefit across the board for patients, um, for the hospital, obviously, um, from a revenue uh, perspective. The Academy experience, uh, given the structured approach to problem solving, um, is really a foundation to continue on in, in process improvement and quality improvement within your organization. And I would recommend this to anyone that's looking to further their organization. Um, to standardize the uh, approach to problem solving and process improvement. Previously the way that myself and a lot of other leaders I think approached problems were you know as a manager as a leader you felt like you had the knowledge base you know it was kind of on your shoulders to come up with the answers the decisions so you come up with that answer you would take it down to your team and expect them to implement it. Um, what we learn at the program and, and what you learn through these strategies is um, that's not the way. <laughs> you first of all have to collect the data to determine what the problem really is because perception and reality often are not the same. Um, so once you take the time to actually collect the data, go to where the work is being done, engage the people that are doing the work, you often find a very different problem. Mm -hmm.